Let's discuss about the electrovalent bond or ionic bond. You are already familiar with this one. So anyhow, we are going to study briefly here. So let us take first definition. The ionic bond or electrovalent bond which is going to be formed between the two atoms by transfer of one or more valence electrons from one atom to another resulting in the electrostatic force of attraction between the positively charged ions. So like this, there is nothing but the, the force of attraction will be there. How the force of attraction will be there? Because of the separate charges plus minus always they are going to be attracted with each other. Like, so let us take first example that is called formation of the formation of the sodium chloride. Let us say this one that is called sodium chloride. Here, how the bond which is going to be formed there, let us take here. First, what is the step 1? Step 1 tells that, step 1 that is for the electronic configuration of sodium, you should write first. What is the electronic configuration of sodium? That is nothing but the 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So, these are the completely filled electrons in their orbitals. That is why this name is called, this is called neon and 3s1. Its nearest lower gas is called neon. That is why it is going to readily lose us one electron. So, step 2. In this step 2, what happens? This sodium atom, in order to react with the chlorine, it is going to lose us one electron because to attain its nearest noble gas formation, that is called neon. That is why this sodium, which is going to uh, give one electron. After giving one electron, loss of one electron. This electron, which is going to be lost here. Now I am going to write as Na plus and one electron which has going to be removed here. Now take what is the electronic configuration of this one? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 means 10 electrons will be there in the sodium. Right? So that is why this is a stable or you can kill this neon. Because 10 electrons will be there means neon. This is a stable now. So this is stability how will be there? So Na plus it should be greater than the Na because this is a stable compared to this one. This contains the 11 electrons, this contains the 10 electrons. 10 means near, nearest to noble gas thing, that is called neon. That is next step. We should write the chlorine electronic configuration also. Chlorine, what is the electronic configuration? Chlorine 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5 because 17 atomic number will be there. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Its nearest noble gas is called argon. That's why it is ready to uh, gain one electron from the sodium. So now the sodium has the low, has a loosened one electron, right? So this chlorine which is going to attract with that one. So that is called Cl. This is the 17 plus which is going to take one electron. Why it is required one electron? Because to attain its nearest noble gas, that is called argon. Argon contains the 18 electrons. Now 17 plus 1 that becomes the 18. That I am going to tell Cl minus. Cl minus means 3p6. 1s2, 2s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Why? Because after gaining the one electron, now it has attained the argon stable. Nearest noble gas is argon. Now it becomes the argon, right? So now what I am going to do is the last step one that is called. This is called step D and this I am going to call as a step E. First step tells that first we should write the electronic configuration of the sodium. After second step, we are going to lose one electron to become uh, to attain this table. Third step, we should write the electronic configuration of this chlorine. So chlorine like this will be there. So next step, we are going to acquire one electron from the sodium. Now it becomes a stable CMS. Now last step is called electrostatic forces of attraction means the two sub uh, between the opposite charge ions. So this will be the Cl minus, this will be the Na plus. That makes the force of attraction. Na plus plus Cl minus, they are going to combine together to become the NaCl. So like this, this is going to be formed here. Let us take in one more example. So second example that is for formation of the calcium Chloride CaF2. Similarly, we are going to uh, follow this same step. First step, we should write the electron configuration of this calcium. What is the electron configuration? 20 atomic number will be there. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. What is the valence electron here? 
This is called valence electron because so these are the completely filled electrons. This is 4s2 will be there. 4s2 means valence electron. That's why it is going to ready. Uh, it is going to uh, lose us two electrons to attain the you know, nearest noble gas. After losing this two electrons, what becomes? 2 plus 2, 4 plus 6, 10 plus 2, 12 plus 6, 18. 18 means nearest normal gas is what? Argon, right? That's why it is going to readily lose us two electrons. The second step, so this is going to lose us electron. How? Ca, it is going to lose us two electrons. Now it becomes dipositive. Ca, 2 plus, plus two electrons. Now Ca, 2 plus means now it is attained the noble gas. So count this after losing two electrons, it becomes 18 electron. 18 means argon. Argon means stable. So next we should take the uh, electronic configuration of the fluorine. Fluorine is 9. 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 5, 9 will be there. So 9 means, so it's the nearest to noble gas is called neon. Neon means it is going to acquire one electron, right? One electron from this calcium. But how many fl fluorine will be there? Two fluorine will be there. So hence it is going to acquire the two electrons to become a bond. So that's why now I am going to take this second next step. Fluorine. How many fluorine will be there? Two fluorine will be there. It is going to obtain the for one fluorine, one electron is required. For another fluorine, two fluorine is two electron is required. Who is going to give? This is going to do two electrons. Now I am going to write two electron minus. Now it becomes two f minus two f minus. Not di, di negative ions because two fluorine will be there. For one fluorine, for f minus like this. And another fluorine, f minus. Together I am going to count here one fluorine, two fluorine, two fluorine minus. So now I am going to gather these steps that is called electrostatic force of attraction between the oppositely charged ions. So what are the charged ions? Ca2 plus and 2f minus. I am going to write here Ca2 plus plus 2f minus. After gathering this one, now we are going to obtain the calcium chloride. So these are the examples for the ionic bonds, this NaCl and CaF2. Let's discuss the what are the factors which is going to be affected around the ionic bond or electrovalent bond. So first one, the ionic bond formation which is going to be favored by the low ionization enthalpy of the metal. So you know that ionic bond means one should contain in the metal, another should contain in the non-metal. Then only ionic bond is going to form here. So they are going to tell the low ionization enthalpy of the metal. Let's take sodium only, our favorite one, sodium only. So it is containing the 10 electrons, right? Complete different electrons and one electron that is called outermost electrons, right? So that is called 3s1 will be the outermost electron, that is called valence electron. So in order they are going to do the ionization enthalpy. Ionization enthalpy is nothing but the ionization energy. That is they are telling low, that should be low ionization enthalpy. Low means it requires the energy which is going to require to remove one electron from its outermost shell. Its outermost shell is the sodium is only one will be there. So only it requires low energy. Why? Because if, if we are going to remove this one electron, it is going to be attained its, its nearest stable, right? That's why the amount is uh, taken for this one is a very low energy will be there. Always low energy will be there because this Beside this element that is called neon will be there, that's why it is a requires low energy enthalpy also. So that they are telling. Then high negative electron gain enthalpy of the non-metal uh, non-metal uh, metal should be there. So that is called uh, high gain enthalpy means the amount of energy which is going to be re released when you are going to add an electron, right? See here. Now I am going to take this CL. So this is called high electron gain enthalpy will be there. So they are always high electron gain enthalpy. Why they are going for high gain enthalpy? Because to formation or the greater the tendency to accept the electrons. In order to accept the electrons, they require the high electron gain enthalpy. That is, if I put one electron, now they are going to become the Cl minus. The large amount of energy which is going to be released here, Cl minus. Then later they are going to be formed Na plus and Cl minus together they are going to call as the NaCl. So this is a metal, this is a non-metal. So this requires high gain enthalpy, this requires low ionization enthalpy. Come to the third one. The electrostatic force of attraction between the positive ions and negative ions should be very high. Always there should be a very high. This is charges, then only 
we are going to obtain the disionic bond.